Today, I have spent literally 12 hours being viciously abused by the transgender community, egged on by your own tweeting last night that you were somehow very dismayed by the way the interview had gone. So I ask you again, why have I been vilified for being transparently supportive of you? I don't get it. Maybe you don't get it because you're not a trans woman. Trans women are- Well, explain are... to me. Explain to me what I did wrong. <laughs> what did I do wrong? You called, so before commercial break, we had a lovely conversation and then all of a sudden you said, who was formerly a man. I was a baby. I was assigned male gender because of the appearance of my genitals. As I grew up, I discovered my girlhood, I discovered my womanhood, and I proclaimed and defined myself for myself, as Audre Lorde says. If we do not define Why ourselves- Why didn't you correct me at the time? For, Why didn't you correct me? I did not because I was if scared. If you felt that strongly. I did not because scared I was of scared. What? And I wanted to be scared a cordial guest. And I think that that was probably incorrect of me. I wanted to be kind, I wanted to be generous because I was appreciative of having two segments on a mainstream show. Here's where I want to learn. Because I don't want this to be mm -hmm. an ongoing issue that I have with, with the community of which you are such a great spokesman and advocate. I want to learn why it is so offensive to actually just say that you grew up as a boy and you then, because you've always felt that you were female, you had surgery to become a woman, to become a real woman, as you say in the book. Why is it offensive? I think that we need to have a discussion about what gender is and gender expectations in our culture. I think that we are born and we are assigned a sex at birth. That is a matter none of us have control over, but we do have control over our destinies and over our identities. And we should be respected. It's not about the past. It's not about what surgeries I may or may not have had. It's not about how I disclose my gender to people. It's about who I am right now. You never picked me up on it or showed any sign of irritation. And I think that I just felt that you threw me to the wolves a bit. And by the way, I don't mind. I'm a big boy. I can take it. I can take being vilified by anybody. I don't mind being vilified. I get it every day from people who support the lack of gun control in America, right? However, however, I do think it was a little unfair that you sparked off this firestorm of abuse to me when I am a supporter of your community and always have been. And I think it doesn't do you or your community any good service to try and make people like me the enemy and the target of abuse. And you've read the tweets, you know what I'm talking about. When actually I'm on your side.